Hi guys, my name is Ash, the Pocket Rocket Uddin. I'm the Head Muay Thai Coach at London Street Fighters Gym. Um, today we're going to be talking about dealing with a taller opponent, specifically against their jab. Um, I've been fighting now for professionally for about eight years, A class, and you can't really tell, but I'm actually quite small. Um, and most of my opponents have been a lot taller and a lot heavier. So we're going to work on some of my favorite tips and tricks on to how to get in um, against a taller opponent. Okay, so before we go into the actual techniques, um, I'm going to talk about something quite important. Um, we're going to cover this because it will enable you to pull off the other techniques. And that is figuring out the range of your opponent's jab. Okay, so what I mean by that is, say that's it. Um, every single fighter out there, they have their natural range for their jab. They know exactly um, where I need to step for it to land. So for example, I'm just gonna walk in slowly and Jeff, when I'm in range, he's just gonna pop out the jab. So I'm just gonna walk in, boom, there's a jab. I'll do that again, boom, boom, there's a jab, okay? So what we're gonna do, what I find out from that is when I step here, boom, the jab pops out, okay? So once you've figured out that, now we can actually go into exploiting that, okay? So I'm gonna to choose to exploit that this time with a counter jab right down the middle to Jeff's chin. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. So I walk in, boom, and slip. Okay, so once I step here, the jab should pop out. I'm gonna get my head off the center line and then throw my counter jab right down the middle and it should land. So once again, I walk in, boom, and slip. Okay, one more time, boom and you've landed to jab. Okay, so from here, my head's on the center line. I've figured out his range. I'm gonna get in range, and as he pops in the jab, I'm gonna slip my head off the side and throw my counter jab right down the middle at the same time. Okay, so I'll show you again. There's the spot where he's gonna pop the jab out, creep in, boom, and there's my counter jab. One more time, boom, and there's the jab, okay? Okay, so once you've figured out the, uh, your opponent's range for the jab, now you can start having some fun and exploiting it in different ways. Um, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna, instead of landing the counter jab, we're gonna land the counter uppercut, the rear uppercut. So this allows you to get in range. We're actually gonna change guard. So hands up. So my partner's gonna land the jab, and I'm gonna step in, changing guard, boom, and throw that counter uppercut right down the middle. Okay, so I'll show you again one more time. Step, boom, uppercut right down the middle, okay? This is useful against a taller opponent because you're using that guard change to close range. Okay, I'll show you again. If I just um, slip to the side without changing guard, boom, I'm gonna be too far for the uppercut. Or if I land it, I have to land a long uppercut. There's not as much power in it as a nice, short, tight uppercut. So we're gonna change guard, boom, boom, and then throw the uppercut right up the middle, okay? So let's do that from the other side. Okay, from here, so I take my time. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna step on that spot. When the jab comes out, boom, head off the line, uppercut right up the middle. One more time, boom, up, and again. So I creep in, boom, bang. Um, so this time, if your opponent is throwing a traditional style jab um, with the nice tight guard down the middle, they're gonna be open around here. So we're gonna use that same motion. Uh, we're gonna slip to the right, step out to the right, but we're gonna use the overhand left into the jaw or the temple. So from here, if the guard, so you're gonna get the guard up the middle. Yep, so you're gonna throw the jab, long guard. So from here, step, Boom, and then throw that right over the top, okay? Show you one more time. Step, boom, over the top, okay? In practice, the step will come with the overhand right at the same time, so I'll show you again. So from here, I creep in, boom, at the same time, okay? It's important to make sure your head comes off the line and you're not doing this, stepping in, because then you're just gonna get punched in the head. So one more time, creep in, over the top, Okay, we're gonna do it from the other way now. Okay, so you can see the angle, the step off the line, off the center line. So from here, I creep in, jab comes in, step across, bang. Make sure you keep this hand up. 
one more time. Boom. Okay. It's uh, hold it there one sec. Okay. So from here. Okay. Now it's important to make sure this hand stays up because there's no guarantee you're going to knock out your opponent. And from this position, the spinning back elbow could easily come in. So you need to make sure this hand comes up, stays up. Okay. You don't want to be lazy and go in, land that shot, boom, and then get an elbow. Thanks, Jim. And then get an elbow <laughs> to the head. Okay, so one more time from here. Make sure this hand stays up. Okay, go in, boom, hand up, there. Okay, to safeguard against that spinning back elbow. Okay, so we found out the range of your opponent's jab, and now you're probably in round three, four, or five. Your opponent's getting a little bit tired. Um, the jab is not as snappy and as sharp as it was in the first few rounds. It's kind of like very labored. Um, very telegraphed, you can kind of see it coming from miles away. And uh, maybe if they're tired, the, the shoulder will drop too when they're throwing the jab. So instead of throwing a nice protected jab like this, they're just kind of just sticking the hand out. Um, and if they're tired, they're gonna probably start panting, jaw's gonna be open here. So in that scenario, okay, so Jeff's just gonna pop out the jab like a lazy jab with the head up. And uh, from here, I'm gonna slip to the inside. All right, so I'll show you what I mean. So from here, there, and then we're gonna throw the right over the top, bang, right into the jaw, okay? So one more time. Okay, I know exactly where that jab range is. So I go in, boom, over the top. Make sure this hand comes up. Okay, one more time, so I've got that range. I creep in, boom, there, nice and easy. Right on the jaw, right on the temple, okay? I'll show you from the other way. You'll see it a bit clearer from this way. Okay, from here, so he's gonna throw a jab. Instead of a nice protected jab, right, he's gonna throw a lazy one there. See this gap here? This is what we're looking to exploit. Okay, so from here, boom. Okay, one more time. Bang, right over the top. Okay, do that one more time. Okay, make sure you get your head off the line. Step over at the same time. So okay, creep in, boom, and you landed that shot. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys found it useful. If you want more information on myself, um, you can follow me on social media, Ash Pocket Rocket, or you can follow the gym, LondonShootFighters.com.